good afternoon and good evening from wherever you're listening to us you're welcome to afri's concepts tv and thank you for tuning in to this channel now to the news headline from a minister of aviation fanny coyote delivers urgent message as Tinumbu appoints Akume as SGF. Now to the details, carefully listen to the end. Former Minister of Aviation, Femi Fani Kayode, has extended his congratulations to Senator George Akume on his appointments to the position of Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF. Akume formerly served as Governor of Benue States. President Bola Tinubu formerly named Akume as the SGF and also appointed Femi Bajabia Mila, the outgoing Speaker of the House of Representatives. As his new chief of staff. The president also named Senator Ibrahim Adija, who had previously served as the deputy governor of Jigawa State, to the position of deputy chief of staff. Femi Fani Kayode reacted to a comment's appointment by posting a prayer on his Twitter page asking God to lead and guide Akume in the new job and significant national mission that he has been given. The leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, prayed to God that he would, endowed, he would be endowed with the intelligence, fortitude and bravery necessary to support the president in advancing the country's agenda. He congratulated his friend and brother, Senator George Akume, on his appointment to the position of Secretary of the Federation, SGF, in the letter that he wrote. May God give you the wisdom, strength, and courage to aid our leader. President Ahmed Bolatinumbu, in moving our country ahead, and may he lead and guide you in this new job and big national tax. According to a story that surfaced, President Tinumbu reportedly selected Bajabia Miller to serve as the next chief of staff following several hours of discussions and talks. This report comes three months after the legislators dismissed rumors that he was advocating for the position after he won his re-election to the National Assembly. The rumors had suggested that he was lobbying for the role after he had won his re-election. On Thursday, Femi Fanikayoli claimed the speaker merits the position because of his bravery, resilience, determination, sense of justice, and devotion, all of which were stated in the tweets that were sent from his verified Twitter profile. Femi Fanikayoli of the All Progressives Congress, who supports President Tsunumbu to the barest minimum way, was happy that the president selected Akume, who he named as his friend and brother, as the secretary to the government of the Federation. And because of his excitement, he tweeted this on his Twitter handle. He prayed for him that God should give him the necessary wisdom, the intelligence to actually support the president in advancing the country's agenda. Now, a lot of rumors came up 
referred to Numbu's inauguration, claiming that so called this corporate conferencing will be the Senate presidency, Femi Gwajabi Amela will be his House of Representatives, and they were giving out different lists. But Tinumbu, who was wise enough, hid all this from them because he does not want it to be seen before he's inaugurated. He wanted to come as a shock to all of them. And after his inauguration, he first appointed three people who does not need the court's verdicts. He, 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 select, he elected one for his social media, his, his media, and three other people. Now, looking at the case of Femi Gwajabi Amila, Femi Gwajabi Amila is House of Representatives in Surulere constituency. If you look, go to Surulere, you will see a lot of things Femi Gwajabi Amila has done looking into education system. He supports the teachers, he supports the students. Every year he gives out things to teachers and students. Now, this is someone who is brave, someone who is actually the, the right person to be in that position. Someone who is determined, resilient, who has a sense of justice and is devoted to what he's doing. Now, presidents actually gave him the sheaf of staff. And Senator Akume, who is the former governor of who is the former governor of a particular state, that is the state of Benue, was given the secretary to the Federation. These are the people in which nobody can even think that President Tunumbu can use them in his cabinet. And that is how life is for a man who is brave, who is a political guru, and he knows what he's doing. So, Femi Fanika Yadi has congratulated them, and he's so happy, and they pray that God will guide them and give them the grace to support the president in making the country a better one. We have come to the end of the news. Thank you for tuning in to the end. But don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates.